If you have spent any time in a physical therapy office or even a gym, you have probably seen a calf stretch board lying to the side, perhaps even in a stretching area. In addition to this, you have likely seen people, well, stretching their calves with it. Although stretching your calves might be what is typically seen and done with a slant board, there's actually a better way to use this device. If you are saying, Logan, I simply just want to stretch my calves with it, well, I'm going to show you a better way to do that as well. Stay tuned for some of the best exercises you are currently not doing with a slant board. As we've established, most people use a slant board to stretch their calves out. One of the better ways that I've actually found to use a slant board is to strengthen the knees. Strengthen your knees with a calf board? Yes. All you have to do is actually turn the slant board around from the way you initially were stretching on it. When you stand on a slant board in this direction, it puts your knees in a specific angle which helps to build tendon and ligament strength. Of course, if you still want to just stretch your calves, make sure you stay until the end of the video so I can show you that as well. For mini squat holds, you will simply get onto the slant board standing nice and tall. Next, you will bend your knees very slightly, keeping your chest high and your knees pointed forward. Try to work your way up to doing 30 second holds for about 3 sets. This is a great place to start strengthening your knees before moving on to the next exercise. Once you've built the strength for the first exercise, you can work into a full slant board squat. This will have you standing on the slant board once again with your chest high. Next, you will bend your knees and hips, ideally sitting all the way down as low as you can. If there is any pain with this, try to go a little more shallow on the squat. Do three sets of 10 repetitions, and if this is easy and you are able to do a full range of motion variation, feel free to add some weight with the dumbbell as well. Now before you go on, I need to tell you something. Those exercises are a great start, but I promise you, you don't want to miss these next few exercises. In fact, doing these next few exercises, especially the last one, could change the way your body feels forever. Now the slant board step ups are by far one of my favorite slant board exercises. For this one, you will stand on the calf stretch board once again. Next, you will take one heel and try to tap it on the ground in front of the slant board. To do this, you have probably noticed that you need to bend one of your knees. Try to do three sets of 30 repetitions on each leg for best results, and feel free to add a balance support if you need it. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos helping you get fitter and healthier regardless of your current ability. After you have mastered all of those, you can move on to the ATG split squat. This will have you placing a calf stretch board up onto a small stool or bench. You will then put your foot up onto the slant board and allow your knee to be pushed forward fairly far. This might be uncomfortable at first, but over time your knees will get stronger in this demanding position. It also gives a good hip stretch. Do three sets of 20 repetitions on each leg and boost up the height if you do have any pain. Once you've done all those exercises, you are probably tired and ready to stretch out your calves and body. One of the best ways to do this is through flipping the slant board around and placing your toes so they are up on top. Next, you will grab a small weight and allow it to pull your back down far in a position. This will give a great calf, hamstring, and lower back stretch. If you are comfortable with it, you can do this slowly for repetitions as well. Follow these calf stretch board exercises daily for the best results. If you are in the market for a calf stretch board or an adjustable dumbbell like the ones used in the video, check the description down below. Otherwise, you can check out the next video on the worst knee health habits you're probably doing. I'm out of it, I'm out of it. Brushing away